Good morning, everyone. My name is Liana, and today I'm recording a video for beginners on pour painting. So if you have never tried pour painting before and you're curious about it, welcome! This will be an easy four-step video which will guide you through all of the process of pour painting. So welcome and let's start! So, step number one. Get everything you need. There are three main components without which it is very hard to create pour painting. This is acrylic paint, canvas, and any type of medium. So people mostly use water or fluid troll. You are free to use any of those. So again, three main components without which you cannot possibly create an acrylic uh, pour painting. In addition to that, you can also use tape and pinpoints to cover up the back of the canvas and make sure it stays clean and neat through all of the pour painting process. You can also use a plastic drop cloth to make sure your space stays clean after you're done with your pour painting. Um, also plastic, small plastic cups and wood staring sticks. You can of course use your personal cups and spoons or knives, butter knives for it, but you have to make sure you clean them well after you're done with your pour painting <laughs> and that will be quite hard. Step number two, set up everything. Probably the most boring step among all, but since it's followed by the most fun step, we have to bear it. We can start by um, taping off our canvas and adding four pinpoints at every corner of our canvas. And you have to make sure that it will be leveled when placed on the floor or on the table because if it will be tilted even a little bit one way or the other, then obviously when we pour paint, paint will slide one way or the other. So make sure it's leveled. Now, when it comes to paint, you can, of course, pick anything you want to. But usually how I pick paint is I pick any main color. For instance, I'll just grab blue. Let's say this is our main color for today. Then I want to add some complementary color to it. So maybe lighter blue will work. And then some contrasting color, the color that will look nice on this blue color. So. Let's see, maybe red, yellow, or burgundy. Yeah, I think those look nice. And to, to those, I would also add some, some metallic color, maybe gold or bronze. Let's say gold. Yeah, so that's a perfect set for me. Again, pick any main color, then complementary color, then contrasting color, and then any metallic color. But you are free to pick anything you want to. <laughs> it's all you. Now we'll be mixing some colors. So I'm adding white into a cup and I will add some water or fluid troll to it and make it a nice fluid consistency. Um, it's hard to tell how much water you need to add because every paint is different, but just add a little bit of water, mix it, look at it, and then add a little bit more. Bring it to nice fluid consistency. That's the goal. So this is too thick, so I'll be adding a little bit more water. Just a little. And then just stir it until you get a nice smooth consistency. right now so that you can see the consistency. This is still too thick, so I'll add some more. It should be more fluid.
So I think I'm finally happy with the white color. I like how it's dripping in one long line. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am happy. And we will be ready to paint now. So I have a uh, blue color, which will be our main color most likely. Then the complementary color, which is lighter blue, contrasting color, and then this will be dark bronze. Let's cover all of our canvas with white color. I like white color to be at every corner of our paint. Make sure to do sides too. You can even actually use your fingers to make sure white color is on every corner of a canvas. Okay, now when canvas is ready, we can start pouring our paints there. Uh, when you just start to do pour painting, make sure you have lots of paper towels because <laughs> you will be needing those. <laughs> Let's start with the lighter blue color. Um, I will just randomly put colors the way I want them to uh, appear there and then on next canvas, we will try to just pour everything in a cup and then pour it out of a cup on the canvas. So I'm going to make a circle here. Mm -hmm. Nice. Now I want to add some darker blues. Now the contrasting color. And the darker bronze color. I wanna add a few more white spots here. And now I'll just be tilting to one side and the other. Creating the patterns that I like. Nice. This is what we end up doing. Okay, awesome. Now let's take another canvas and try something different on the other canvas. Now for this canvas, let's also start by pouring some white making sure to spread it everywhere. I want to make sure all of the corners have white too. wipe my hands and let's try something different so I have actually cut a plastic cup I will add some white here and then I'm planning to just randomly add colors I want to start with blue Ooh, I love this sound actually Nice. I want to use all of this color so that nothing will be left. 
move some here. Nice. Now let's add lighter blue. I really love this turquoise color, so I'll add a lot of it. Now let's use this one. And now I want to mix them back and forth. A little bit of turquoise and rest of it. A bit of turquoise. But you could do it at any or you feel like you would like. Now this bronze color. A bit of red again. I love how they're pouring out of the cup. If they're not quite pouring, just lift it a little bit and put it back. It makes it spread nicely. around a little bit. And I'll also let's tilt it to one side then the other. Oh I like it. I don't even want to tilt it anymore just because I think it's so perfect. Maybe here. I think this is how I'll leave it. So those are two final results of our paintings. I just poured white color in the middle too because I wasn't happy with that painting too much, but I'm really happy with this one. It turned out really nice.